Hi, this is Aruna Malya. I am the senior dietitian at KMCU Hospital. I have been uh, practicing since 11 years. As you all know, women, if she makes up her mind, she can do everything. That is what I believe in. And the biggest challenge what I have faced in my life is my daughter. I had a premature uh, delivery and I have a child who has dyslexia. Initially, diagnosing her as dyslexic was very difficult because I was always a topper in throughout all my studies. And seeing that my daughter is not able to study was the biggest challenge for me. And my mother, a supporter who was always there with me, I think I'm blessed to have a mother like her. So coming to my daughter, she went to a school where we had problems. First of all, first uh, few days, she couldn't read, write. Then we thought, what is the problem with her? Then when we went to ophthalmologist, they said that she can see perhaps this is not the right age to diagnose whether she can see or not. Then we came to know that she is not able to see the board properly because of which she is having problems. Slowly, she started wearing spectacles and going to school, but still she was poor at studies, always with a zero, which is a number which I have never seen in my life. So I used to feel very bad those days. And being in the medical field, I've approached most of the doctors, starting from neurologists to neurosurgeons, everybody. But everybody told me that there's no problem with her, but she was just not improving. So the ultimate decision was what I had to take was whether to continue with the education or not. And even in the school, they started telling me that these type of children cannot come to the, cannot be with the normal stream children. Teaching them would be difficult because I understand a teacher teaching a hundred students and teaching a dyslexic child is a challenge for her too. So what I, I did is I took a break. I took a break of 10 days. I attended a dyslexia workshop. I learned how to teach children who have dyslexia. Then I went back to the school. I spoke to the headmistress and she was very cooperative. She helped me out with that. Then I went to a psychologist, got the IQ of my daughter checked. I got a learning disabled certificate for her and I approached the education minister. I put a letter to him saying that this is the problem and I got a uh, what we say is she need not study all the subjects like other children. So she was given uh, lenience in studies. She was studying only English and social studies. She had history, geography and political science and all those stuff. So me being a science teacher, a science student, teaching the social studies was really tough. But then I had to cope up with her. All this went along till she finished her 8th standard. When it came to ninth standard, the teacher or headmistress told me it is difficult to take her to 10th standard because they were more interested in the percentage of the school. So they denied admission for her for 10th standard. They, they called and told me, I can't uh, take your daughter because we are worried we need to get 100% and your daughter, if she fails, our percentage would come down. And it was such a heartbreaking moment at that time, but I didn't lose my patience. What I did was I went and approached a private agency and I made her appear for a private exam for SSLC. Even then, teaching everything starting from the basic till the exam was difficult because you sit with a teacher the entire day. Next day morning, she's blank. She doesn't remember anything. So, so many times I have felt so bad. I used to feel what I have done to have a child like this. So many times I have thought of so many things I should be doing, but I couldn't do at that moment and my only interest was my daughter. Ultimately, during the exam, during the uh, uh, SSLC exam, what I did was, we have an opportunity here where we can take EL for 15 days at a stretch. I took a 15 days gap, sat with my daughter, helped her to prepare the exam. Uh, for a dyslexic child, there are some advantages where they have to just write one word answers, fill in the blanks, match the following and they don't have to write the entire uh, long answers or writing briefly. All those are not uh, mandatory for them. That was when I made her appear for the exam and I'm blessed by God somewhere, I could say. She passed out SSLC with a first class. That was the biggest achievement in my life. Now I have progressed in my career. I have reached the heights or where I need to reach or what was my aim. But now when my children or when my daughter successfully finished her SSLC, that was the biggest achievement I have achieved in my life. 
So I always tell a mother is a first teacher and if a mother makes up her mind, she can take her children to great heights. And now I'm happy to tell that the same headmistress who denied seat for my daughter came to know that my daughter passed SSLC and she has given my reference to many parents who have dyslexic children. So they call me and ask me how to go about with the uh, certificates, how to get uh, uh, the other subjects waived off, how to go around with the education department, where and all to approach. So I have helped so many parents now because I know the pain of having a child like that. So I'm, I proudly say that I am blessed with the child and not all mothers get a child like her. So having patience is very important and for a mother, she cannot let her children down anytime. So as a woman, I'm a proud woman today. As a mother, I'm a proud mother today. Thank you.